Hello and welcome back to One Way Designs 238. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is a part of a collaboration entitled The DIY Crystal Wedding Decor. I subtitled mine Kissed by Crystal Elegance. This collaboration is in part with my good friend Tam from Love My Babies Forever. If you don't know her, please go check her out and let her know that I sent you. And it is hosted by Miss Tammy from Glam Queen of DIY. Check these ladies out. They are amazing. So let's jump right into today's project. I have this piece of a vase that I broke. I didn't mean to, but I did break it. Um, so what I did was I simply hammered off the broken part and the epoxy popped right off. And I also have two of these miniature glass bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have already super glued those together as I have done in a previous video. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and piece my little ball, so to speak, my sphere, um, to the bottom of this broken uh, vase with my Loctite super glue. And I am taking my time uh, making sure that this is nice and centered because nothing is worse than having a, a beautiful centerpiece and uh, setting it up and it's wopsided. So when you are gluing your pieces together, please take your time, use a leveler like I have, make sure that it's nice and level. So once the first two pieces are nice and level, now I'm going to come in with my Loctite uh, glue again, and I am going to go ahead and adhere my Pilsner glass from the Dollar Tree. Now what I would like to say to you, if you don't have anything close to the piece that I have from the vase I broke, you could always use two Pilsner glasses from the Dollar Tree and the project would turn out just fine. So again, I'm taking my time making sure that everything is nice and cohesive, everything is nice and straight, making sure that nothing is wopsided. While that's drying, I have these four mirrors that I did have from the little miniature uh, frames from the Dollar Tree. I took these from different another project, excuse me, that I had and I tore it apart. So to begin forming our box, I'm going to take some of these wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree from the Crafter Square section and I'm going to mark these slightly shorter than the actual mirror itself. Um, on the horizontal horizontal end that is and i'm going to do this four times this is going to give us a foundation to be able to put our mirror box together if you don't have mirrors this size you can always find the mirrored paper from amazon.com now to begin forming the box i am going to use something just to give me a right angle to make sure that everything is nice and straight um, i've laid a foundation of hot glue down in the corner, well, take that back, on one end, horizontally, um, on the mirror, then I'm going to lay down that cut piece of wooden dowel into that glue, put a little bit more glue on the other side, and then we will attach a second mirror to this horizontally, like so. Again, the wooden dowels will give us a means of having something to, to be able to uh, grasp onto so that this is nice and secure. If you don't have wooden dowels, you could always again use those wooden tumbling tower game pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do the exact same thing to my other two pieces of mirror. Um, but once the glue has set um, in the corner, I'm going to take a nice amount of the hot glue and go over that wooden dowel and um, Make sure that I cover the seam of where the dowel meets the mirrors themselves. Again, this is going to make sure that everything is cohesive and nothing goes anywhere. So, I have followed the exact same um, instructions and formed my box. So, to form the bottom of my box, I have some of this um, particle board, so to speak. Uh, this is from a piece of fall wall art decor that I had from Walmart. Not Walmart, excuse me y'all, from Dollar Tree. Uh, what I've done is I've simply taken uh, my marker and I have marked the inside of the mirrored box. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my lines are nice and straight. Now the reason you see this tape going down the middle and these wooden popsicle sticks is because I just simply took two pieces of this um, wall art sign and I pieced it together. If this is what you do, um, I would highly suggest that you follow like I have done and use the popsicle sticks to give something for your phone to uh, hold on to nice and evenly later on and you'll see that. So I'm just going to take my blade, 
I'm going to cut this out as you have seen me do in previous videos. Once I have fitted into the inside of the bottom of my box, I am simply taking my hot glue and I just went along the inside as you can tell and I just laid a really nice foundational glue. Now to make this even more high end, I am going to go ahead and cover the bottom of my box with some of this uh, flannel, I think it's called flannel fleece. Y'all know what, it, what I'm talking about. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, what this does, it will, number one, it takes your project to like a whole nother level. And number two, it protects the furniture uh, that you may be placing this piece on. If you have a piece that is painted, it will keep the paint from scraping. And if you're putting it on a tablecloth, it will keep the tablecloth from snagging. So once the glue is dry, I'm just gonna cut this out. This is what the bottom of our box looks like. Doesn't it look nice and clean? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the next process, well, part of the process. Now to put my foam in, I have taken two pieces of these square foams, foam blocks from the Dollar Tree. I've cut one down to size so that it will be just a tad bit lower than the top of my box. And I've glued these together. So now I am giving this a bit more support because we're going to be having a nice heavy piece on the top. So just like you were making a wedding cake, you would have to support it. Otherwise it was collapse. So I'm just simply taking one wooden dowel, putting it all the way through, measuring it and then cutting three more. And I will actually take these and put them down into the foam. Again, this will give us support so that we don't have any mishaps with anything collapsing or falling over. Now to cover that top part of the foam, I just have another piece of that wooden sign from the Dollar Tree that I cut out and I, am, I simply covered it with a nice piece of glitter paper and I'm just gonna glue this to the top of it. And again, this will add for extra security and nice a nice level surface. So now I'm just gonna simply take the foam and glue this to the bottom of my box. Now this is where those popsicle sticks that I have um, in the bottom of my piece, that's where this comes in so that everything is nice and level. Well, now it's time to embellish our box. You can use any type of uh, crystal trim, any kind of crystal rhinestone trim. You can use the regular Dollar Tree diamond wrap if you would like. Me personally, I have chosen to use um, this trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this because it's very flexible. Um, and as you will see here in just a moment, it gives me a nice, clean, crisp edge all the while covering up those sharp edges uh, from the glass. So to go ahead and attach this, I'm going to first start with one end of it and I'm going to hot glue it first so that we can work to go ahead and attach this to the box. So I'm going to bring in my fix all adhesive from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and lay a nice little bit of foundation of this on the back of my adhesive and this will give us a long term hold. Uh, because if you are a wedding event planner, um, you'll want to, of course, keep your designs in stock. And this will help you have a nice longevity uh, for your project. So I've laid that foundation of the fix all and I've laid a little bit more of hot glue. And again, that's for a short term, long term hold. So again, as you see, I have my fix all adhesive. I'm placing this on first, then I will bring in my hot glue and I'm going to go ahead and glue the, put some glue on either end of the trim and a little bit in the middle to be sure that this does not come up while the fix on is drying. And I will do this three more times to complete the box. Does that not look good you guys? So this next part here, I'm going to actually use this glitter. And as you saw, the name 
that popped up. Her name is Helen and she is from Beauty Meets DIY. She has come out with her own line of glitter, you guys. And when I say this glitter is amazing, I love it. It has all kinds of different shapes. It has squares, octagons, hexagons. It's got miniature pearls. It's got miniature diamonds in it, fine glitter, standard glitter. And this particular uh, line of her glitter is called Crushed Diamonds. I promise you, you won't be disappointed because this really lets the light um, hit it and it reflects wonderfully. As you can see, look at all that sparkling glam. She also has like miniature sequins in this. Wonderful glitter. So now I'm going to go ahead and start covering up the middle portion of my vessel. Um, to do so, I'm going to bring in my Mod Podge and I am simply putting on a nice layer, not too thick, but not too thin. If it's too thin, the glitter will not stick to it uh, because it does have more chunkier pieces. And if it's too thick, it will just simply run everywhere. So a nice even coat of this Mod Podge. Once I have a nice even coat of Mod Podge, I will go ahead and pour the glitter on the top. And as you see, this glitter, again, it really sparkles, you guys. I love it. So you will have to do this in different segments, um, section by section. And I will show you in the end what it looks like. You won't be disappointed. Now be careful when you are using your Mod Podge on your um, vessel. But if you do happen to get some in a place where it doesn't need to be, just simply quickly wipe it away. And once everything is dry, you can bring in some acetone uh, nail polish and that will remove it straight away. You guys, if you are enjoying today's project, I humbly ask that you would please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please hit the thumbs up, uh, turn on your notification bell, and get, leave me a comment down in the comment section below because I love talking to you guys. So now I'm taking a cutting board that is from the Dollar Tree, the glass cutting board. I've taken a piece of foam, glued it to the top, and I'm going to make my floral arrangement. And I'm also going to put some floors into the bottom of my mirrored box. So this is what it looks like. If you would like for me to one day give you a tutorial, excuse me, on how to do a floral arrangement, please let me know down in the comment section. So to take this to even the next level, make it more high end, I'm taking this uh, light that I have purchased from five and below, but you can also purchase these from Lowe's and you can purchase them from Amazon as well because this does have the remote. I'm gluing it to the bottom of my glass cutting board that my floral arrangement is on, but I'm not gluing it to the point to where I can't change my batteries in and out. Be sure that when you do adhere to the bottom, make sure you can get to your batteries. Now I have these crystal, I call them dang -dings, these crystal dang -dings that I am simply going to place in four corners of Say the numbers are rising up, but remember that Jesus has control. Be blessed in Jesus.